So for our webinar for today, I will discuss the Aruba ESP architecture. So basically, this is uh, the Aruba architecture. No? So this focuses on the AI-powered platform design to unify, automate, and protect the intelligent edge. So basically, this is the industry's first uh, AI platform no? that is launched by Aruba. So again, my name, my name nga pala is, my name is Red Manapitan. I'm one of the Aruba systems engineer uh, for today's topic. Right, and uh, if we will define first the edge, right? So uh, the meaning of the edge is uh, this is where the people, places, and things that come together to do and deliver the amazing things. Right. So again, for this webinar, we will talk about uh, different uh, challenges and solutions for the edge, right? And this solution, this architecture will actually help you uh, in your mobility era. Okay. Okay, so as a start, so let's see about what is happening in our industry today and why do we need the uh, Aruba ESP? So basically, um, right now we are in the early stages of the new era of the data disruption, right? So as you can see here, uh, the, the data and devices are growing exponentially. Right? So right now we are in the year 2020 and we already have 10 billion of units uh, that is currently produced worldwide. Right? And within the next two years, there's gonna be around 55 billion devices connected worldwide. So this is the source came from the IDC, right? And from these devices, 50% of this data will be created outside of the data center or and not in the cloud, right? And this data is gonna be generated at the edge itself or at the customer's uh, network, right? And the interesting here, interesting thing here is that the, the value of the data is that uh, we are looking this data to convert uh, revenue and to convert it into new business outcomes. So again, data will help us to drive business outcomes at the edge, right? So first we take a look at, at the uh, efficiency. So how does efficiency will drive our uh, we'll, we'll use the data to drive the business outcomes, right? Like, for example, for a manufacturing facility, right? So uh, they have uh, heavy equipment um, manufacturing the products. So they are using IoT for their equipment that can help their businesses to better operate those machines and like make them run faster, make them run slower, and sometimes understand when when they would need the um, maintenance of the of those machines right and another example is about the sensors right uh, as we all know we are in the pandemic right now covid pandemic and more and more companies are looking for ways on how they can uh, improve their uh, operation without sacrificing the health of their uh, employees right so we uh, with this one we, they can use the sensors in their employee badges or mobile uh, devices for tracking people and workplaces that uh, measures for social distance, that actually measures the social distancing, right? And another example that uh, we have is uh, what we call the user experience. So, so you, the user experience can, can actually help us to also generate income and uh, generate new business outcomes. So, um, from here, we can use this data to drive customers loyalty and uh, even acquire new customers. Like, like for example, for a mall or a retail, right? so they have uh, data of their customer uh, uh, information. So this data will actually give them the, the idea or the importance for the frequent shopper and offer and offer them promotion or uh, discounts that can help them to increase their revenue stream, right? So putting this together, the decreasing costs and increasing revenue will give us a tremendous opportunity for many of our customers, and all it is all of it is dependent on the data, right? So <clears throat> again, we uh, there's also challenges at the edge uh, right now, right? So first is we take a look on how the different challenges uh, 
and then uh, okay. so let's explain the different challenges in our ed. so first is the technology silos in the agility so as we all know um, for some organizations they have a different uh, uh, platform so they have a different uh, products for wired wireless and security right and uh, sometimes it, it makes uh, them for very difficult to manage monitor and troubleshoot their network right because of uh, different uh, systems and platforms. So the second thing is the manual operation or lack, lack of core visibility uh, that will create a uh, project network. So manual operation meaning, uh, for example, if you are managing uh, uh, a switch, right? So you're, you're, you're doing configuration like uh, using Telnet or SH for individual components on the network which is sometimes very, will make uh, more on time consuming, very time consuming to configure uh, the individual switches, right? And sometimes it can lead to uh, human errors and outages, right? Like, uh, for example, in, uh, introducing new VLANs into your network, right, will require a uh, to provision individual switches, right? And as I said, it's very time consuming if you have a hundreds of switches in your network. So the third challenges that we have is the security threats is also rising. So BYOD and IoT device actually helps us uh, our business and makes our life easier. But this this can also impose threats if we cannot manage them uh, properly, right? So as we all know, the IoT device is a very uh, lack of security. So they basically they are headless devices, so they cannot do uh, advanced authentication like the 802.1x. Right? So this can impose um, security to our organization if we if cannot um, secure them uh, properly. Okay, so let's expand more about the different uh, challenges for the different technology uh, silos, right? So like I said, uh, for every technology or every platform that we use, there is a, a standalone management tools for every technology domain. Like for example, we have a switching platform which is uh, different from wireless and one edge. Right? So from switching platform, you cannot uh, manage the wireless portion and you cannot manage the one edge or your firewall. And the same goes with your wireless. You cannot manage switch and the one edge. So different platforms uh, will require us to move from different uh, tools or softwares uh, when we do provisioning and troubleshooting of our network, right? And sometimes um, troubleshooting a network gives us a very time consuming process because the IT, administ IT administrator uh, needs to correlate the issues or the problems from one um, platform to another, right? So the solutions that we have that is part of the uh, Aruba ESP architecture is what we have the uh, unified uh, infrastructure. So this is one of the key pillars of our Aruba ESP architecture. So what we have here is the Aruba Central, which is our bread and butter for, our, for this architecture. So the, the Aruba Central is actually supports the cloud, uh, cloud native management platform, right, and provides deployment uh, and com configuration for all of the branches device. So for Aruba, we call it the SD branch or software defined branch. So, so we cater uh, from the Aruba Central, we can manage both the, all the solutions like the switching, wireless and the security gateways uh, for the SD one or the SD branch. So again, Aruba Central will, will give us a consistent management uh, experience between the campus and data center and SD1 networking. Right? So our development is actually we focus on the Aruba Central itself. So more and more technology and features uh, are we put we are putting here in the Aruba Central cloud management. So basically, it allows for for the IT administrator. It allows them to view the client visibility and the application performance using the single unified dashboard. Right. So from, to, from the IT administrator, from the troubleshooting uh, perspective, the, IT, the administrator can drill down specific applications for specific users, 
si uh, kung saan siya nakakonect na SSID, kung saan AP, and then from that AP kung saan switch siya nakakonect. So, lahat ito makikita natin sa Aruba Central. So, basically, Aruba Central converge all of the platforms, the switching wireless and one edge platform into one uh, single uh, unified dashboard. Right. And another use cases that we can use for the Aruba Central is the, we can deploy an, an entire branch. Like, so in uh, less than hour, in less than an hour using the zero touch provisioning of Aruba. Right. And another one is we can also use using the APIs, we can also integrate with other third-party security platforms that uh, can help us to automate more our network. So next challenges that we have is, uh, again, um, mostly on the manual operations and the poor visibility for our um, network, right? So as you can see here, a manual CLI driven uh, will uh, is very time consuming and is very uh, slow to provision um, and monitor to maintain and often leads to human errors. Okay. And sometimes even using a template, right? Uh, and by using a template or sometimes a single mistake with an IP address or subnet mask or an ACL can actually lead uh, to and uh, cause problems later. Right? And Another challenge is the disconnected data point. So like I said, for, for the different uh, platforms that we have, like the switching uh, wireless platform, so they, they are different management platforms. So they are, sometimes they are very difficult to correlate on which issue, to which to pinpoint which issues came from, right? From Is it from the switching or is it from the wireless? Like, like for example, how do you uh, troubleshoot your wireless network? if users complaints and um, experiencing slow performance. So to augment these uh, operations, right? So we introduce another pillar that we have for our Aruba ESP architecture and we call it AI operations or AI ops. So basically the AI ops automates uh, the, network, uh, uh, the network and gives the app uh, the ability of administrator to do more with less and perform day-to-day uh, uh, -day jobs. So like for example, for for our network, if you are using the Aruba CX switches, the Aruba CX switches can do live upgrades across dual uh, switches that eliminates uh, downtime. So um, with no disruption to end user traffic. And it, it can also support like uh, automatic firmware updates for the two switches. So again, with zero downtime. So another example for our AI operation is what we call the AI insights for the wireless portion. Right? So for the AI insights, actually uh, look for the performance of your wireless network. Right? So it can actually uh, pinpoint the root cause uh, or the slow uh, what's happening around your wireless network what uh, what is happening in your RF performance so which can uh, predict issues and give recommendations on the central as well so some of the use cases that we have is uh, for the AI operations we can predict uh, deep, different kinds of issues and then uh, from there, we, the uh, Aruba Central can do recommendations based on the uh, data that uh, is gathered. Right? So the, the AI operations uh, is uh, will cover all of the components for the wired wireless and FD1 and troubleshoot the areas before the, it, it can get uh, reported by the end users and have a prescriptive guidance or fix. And another example that uh, can help to improve the IT operations is what we call the, the Aruba Net Edit. So the, the Aruba Net Edit is actually available only for the Aruba OS CX switches. So the Aruba OS CX switches is, uh, also use a cloud native um, uh, OS or platform, right? So basically the Aruba Net Edit uh, improves the, the management of all the switches, right? So 
it eliminates the manual configuration of the switches itself. Like, for example, if you are provisioning a VLAN, adding a VLAN, uh, it validates the config to the net edit. And actually, once it validated, you, you can actually deploy it uh, using the net edit to multiple switches, one at a time. So you do not need to manage individually those switches. So using net edit, you can uh, group the configuration or the switches and uh, automatically push push the config to all of the devices. So net edit brings the simplicity uh, in, when in terms of uh, managing our network and eliminating uh, manual tasks. And another features that we have for our Aruba uh, OSCX switches is what we call the Aruba uh, net, net NAE or the network analytics engine. So the net network analytics engine is actually a features of Aruba OS CX, wherein uh, para kang merong uh, IT technician dun sa switch. So basically, uh, ang ginagawa ni NAE is it, it monitors the performance of your switches. So it can also do uh, it can also identify the root cause on what, for example, if the if there's a missing VLAN or or if there is a route that is missed in, in your network. So the NAE, the NAE will actually display it into, into the NAE dashboard. So it's very helpful in, in, term, and in terms of monitoring and um, troubleshooting your entire uh, wired switches. And on top of that, um, since um, Aruba CX is uh, running on a cloud native platform, it can be also integrated with other third-party automation tools using APIs and um, Python scripts. So another platform that we have for that improve the AI operations is what we call the user experience insight. So, so many times, right? So when we say user experience insight, so we can mon from uh, the traditional we can we monitor the network, right? But sometimes we cannot we cannot see how does the user behave. No? So papa papano papano nako connect yung uh, yung net yung users natin or how our applications behave in terms of the user's per perspective. So yun yung ginagawa ni UXI. So um, so para siyang it it actually a, a sensor that acts as a client device. So para din siyang kunwari laptop na komo connect sa different applications and then it monitors the the performance or the availability of the network and applications right so for example meron kang per, per, per certain uh, office uh, hours right so uh, for example 9 to 10 yung office natin and then so meaning nung green nung green icon is meaning uh, wala tayong issue right but then again, after, for example, nag uwi na yung users natin. Right? So, for example, uh, 5 p.m. tapos na. So, using the user experience insight, malalaman natin kung may problema ba sa, sa network natin or sa applications natin. And once that, ma maaari natin ma-predict agad. So, bago pumasok uh, ulit yung user or yung employee dun sa network, so, uh, meron na tayong po active measures so nalaman na natin no bago pa sila mag-complain right so basically it acts as a proactive um, user monitoring for all of the performance so you for the Aruba user experience insight you can actually uh, put a uh, different applications right so different web server application or uh, that is uh, actually that is uh, using by the user itself So the third challenges that we have is what we call the security threats, right? So the security threats increase uh, network complexity as well, right? So as we can see here, um, is, uh, introducing new devices will uh, sometimes will make us our network very complex to manage, right? So when we when we introduce new devices, for example, a BYOD or IoT, we tend to create uh, new user bilans uh, just to se uh, segregate and uh, segregate them and uh, from our network right and introduce new ACLs okay. again no so when we when we introduce new devices like yung mga IOT devices 
So sometimes it makes our network very complex to manage, right? So imagine if you have a hundreds of sites or hundreds of branches. So all you need, kailangan mong mag, mag provision or mag create ng multiple VLAN. So doon sa lahat ng uh, branches natin or mga networks natin. So it's, it's very, uh, which makes our, our network very complex. So the solutions that we have here is the, what we call the Zero Trust Framework. So this is uh, the third pillar that we have for our Aruba uh, ESP architecture. So basically, this is, this is on the protection layer on the, it actually protects our network and simplify our network deployment. So using our dynamic segmentation, it actually simplifies the deployment uh, or securing our network and devices. So let's take a look at here. So from Aruba, we, we use the dynamic segmentation or, or what we call, uh, we use this architecture for the whole base policies. So we're not using a VLAN based architecture for this one. So basically, uh, every user and every device that connects to the network will actually have a role that is uh, um, given by the ClearPass, our ClearPass policy manager. So basically, when the user authenticates to the network, it will be given a specific role depending on its uh, user device and um, user credentials. So, right. so basically, it delivers a unified uh, security policy for wired and wireless. So regardless kung, uh, kung how is the users connect, kung connect sa either wired or wireless, it will give them the same user policy. Right. So, ClearPass Devices Insight is our product for actually for um, visibility, right? So, if if you want to know what what is connected to your network, or if you if you want to have a total visibility on your network, then ClearPass Device Insight is the tool or software that actually uh, gives you total security for your network. Right? So, it can do automate automatic device discovery and profiling for every user and device that connects to your network. So basically, this is the first layer is to uh, provide visibility. So magkaroon tayo ng visibility sa network natin. And once we, do, we have the total visibility in our network, and it's time for us to enforce uh, user policy or the security portion. So as you all know, for uh, the Aruba, Firewall, the Aruba controller or gateway has a built-in firewall, built-in firewall that gives a policy enforcement. So every user and device that connects to the uh, network, right, will be given a role. So uh, first, they will uh, authentic authenticate to the ClearPass policy manager, and the ClearPass will be given the, the device is a specific role, and that role or that uh, user traffic will goes to the policy enforcement. So ito mangyayari yung firewalling or yung permitting of the user traffic. So, basically, si um, controller or gateway, siya yung magsasala ng user traffic natin. So, for example, yung role natin is uh, corporate network. So, so, for our corporate role, I, uh, I am allowed to access the Office 365 application and the Air Group application. So, automatically, for other sites or applications, lock na ako dun. Kasi hindi siya permitted under my role. So basically, this is uh, one way to simplify and secure your network with the Aruba dynamic segmentation. Right. So how do these pieces come together? So again, I already explained the three pillars that we have for the Aruba ESP. So number one is the AI ops. Right. So for the AI ops, this is the, actually the the uh, Aruba architecture or uh, the Aruba technology attitude that uses artificial intelligence and machine machine learning uh, algorithm that uh, can help predict uh, issues and uh, recommend uh, recommend some ways on how to improve the network and user performance. So the next one is the use zero trust security. So like I said, you know, yung pinakita ko yung using dynamic segmentation features using ClearPass device inside that provides us a total visibility 
dun sa lahat ng devices natin na kumukonek sa network natin. And unified infrastructure, so this is the, actually the, the physical layer or the connectivity layer. So the unified infrastructure is composed of the wireless, wired, and FT1 that is all managed into one single platform, which is the Aruba Central. All right. So introducing the ESP architecture. So let's found more. So first is the connectivity layer. So this is ito yung physical layer natin. So so we have products for wireless, which is our Aruba 11 AX wireless, and for the wired and SD1 as well. So yung middle layer, layer natin is what we call the yung, yung zero task security. So dito papasok yung enforcement natin, yung visibility sa lahat ng devices and uh, to enforcement for the security. And then dun sa upper layer naman, so we have the, the different services, right? So like yung on uh, zero touch provisioning, like uh, automated onboarding, um, location tracking, uh, and management, unified management is part of the services portfolio. So once we lay, we lay, we lay out our infrastructures here, then we can now easily integrate them to the third party ecosystem or third party applications platform. Right. So again, the components of the Aruba ESP architecture here is uh, basically for the connectivity, for the gateways uh, na ginagamit namin for the SD branch or the SD1 solution. So we have uh, different models. So we have uh, Aruba 7000 and Aruba 9000 series. So for the Aruba 9000 series, it actually supports yung, uh, the latest UTM features or yung IDS and IPS uh, security features. So for the access point, then we do, we, we do have the Aruba 300 series, ito yung uh, 11 AC wireless namin. And right now, we, we also have the 500 series, which, which is our 822.11 AX access point for the wireless. So for the switching platforms, we have two flavors. So one is uh, the, using the Aruba CX uh, operating system. And another one is using the, the, the native or the traditional uh, AOS switch uh, OS. So from the middle, from the policy layer, ito papasok si Clear Pass Policy Manager for our security portion. Right? So Clear Pass, si Clear Pass Policy Manager is uh, basically a radio server that, uh, do, that can do authentication of all the devices that connect to your network. So, si ClearPass device inside is a cloud-based platform naman siya. So, cloud-based din siya na integrate na, na integrate na rin kay Aruba Central. And second is yung enforcement. So, like I said, yung all of our um, controllers or gateways has a built-in firewall that actually do the enforcement uh, policy. So, on the upper layer, or the application layer, so dito na papasok si Aruba Central. So Aruba Central has a lot of services. So more and more innovation and services are actually put in uh, in Aruba Central in the future. So right now we already support yung ClearPass device insight and yung AI insights in the AI ops. And in the future we are also integrating the user experience insight and the meridian and location. Uh, platforms as well into the Aruba Central. So our our go-to platform is mostly on the Aruba Central part, which is purely cloud-based na yung architecture natin. And again, um, simplifying integration with Aruba Developer Hub. So since we are uh, open standard, uh, we can integrate with other third-party applications. All you need to do is to look at in our developer site, um, developer hub site in Aruba and search for the, some ready ready made scripts or uh, and APIs uh, if you want to integrate it with your uh, existing uh, automation tools or application as well. Okay, so how can we help? How can you how can how you get there uh, to that journey? So first uh, is uh, we will establish first the connectivity layer. So we will deploy a high performance network. So first is starting from the 
wireless so you can start now to look into Aruba AX which can give you a uh, much higher bandwidth and throughput in terms of the wireless um, requirement. And for the switching side, right? so like I mentioned, yung Aruba CX namin, it supports yung live upgrade and zero down zero downtime capability. Right? So the second one is securely connecting to the cloud. Right? So dito napapasok yung SD1 natin, yung SD1 features natin. Right, so basically, we consolidate the UTM features, and we also have a other features as well that incorporate in, into our uh, SD1 platform. So third is new security. So dito papasok yung protect, yung protect layer. So we can now secure users, devices, and IoT things that can connect to your network. So from here, we will have a total visibility with our network using the ClearPass device inside. And perform a zero trust security using the Aruba dan dynamic segmentation. So number four is using scale operations and management. So using our Aruba Central will give you a unified uh, management platform for all of your uh, devices in the branch. Right. So for the wireless, LAN, and wide uh, architectures. So all in a single pane of glass. And lastly innovate apps, services, and experience. So um, again, we, we do support uh, third-party integration and um, uh, automation uh, integration using the uh, API integrations with, with the Aruba Central. Okay. So basically this uh, will decompose of the Aruba ESP architectures right now that will help you to, to simplify your network needs uh, right now or in the future. All right. So yeah, that's my presentation, just an overview of our Aruba ESP architectures.